do you think? Good morning, everybody. Watch it out. is what day is today? Today is Tuesday. Tuesday morning. <laughs> today is. You're funny. Today's Tuesday morning, May first. So it's five one twenty eighteen. And guess what day? Guess what day today is at school? Crazy hat day. Crazy hat day. Cool, Watch dude. Up. Also, first day of shorts. Cool, dude. It's supposed to be a uh, high of yeah. 85. Grant's even got some new kicks. Some new shoesy doodles. All right, you ready, bud? All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, first day of school. First day with new shoes. And he's wearing a crazy hat today. I hope uh, that's okay for school. Uh, an army helmet. I uh, told him. I saw him in the back seat making, like, gun... Uh, fingers and stuff and told him that that's probably not appropriate for school if any adults tell him to take off his helmet or to stop doing anything he needs to listen to them so um i think the helmet's okay but definitely not the gun fingers and stuff and that's what i told him so uh today's gonna be an awesome day it's gonna be it's already 63 degrees and it's not uh even eight o'clock yet excuse me I had to turn on the air conditioning last night. It was like 73 degrees in the house, and that was on the middle level. So upstairs, it was even hotter. Uh, basically, was able to sleep really well last night. But Grant and I woke up both with like a cough. So I don't know if that's just because we run on the air conditioning for the first time or what, or maybe from being outside a little bit yesterday. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, so we um, trying to think what's going on today. So not not much going on. Uh, I'm a little bit tired, but man, I got some really good sleep last night. Oh, I need to work on the prom pictures from uh, I think that was on was that Saturday? Yeah. Um, these guys think that I'm like have nothing better to do or nothing else going on. They're like, oh yeah, can you like put up those pictures like tonight? That was like on Saturday. I'm like, well, I just shot 200 images. Um, I have no idea what I really got because I had barely any time to prep for this. So, no, no. And I have Grant. So, see you out there. I am going to work on them over my lunch break today and try to see what I can <clears throat> get done, basically. I'm not going to uh, stress out about it. I mean, it's essentially a free photo shoot. And it is what it is. I mean, yeah. So, uh, um, but yeah, I did get some really good images. I'm really excited. And then, uh, other than that, that's about all that's, that I got going on today. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do about this crypto stuff. I mean, let me see. My car is silent when it switches over to electric mode and I'm stopped. Uh, let me see here. So just a recap, today's Tuesday, uh, Ether is down almost 7%, so Ether's at $641, and then everything else kind of followed suit, so my portfolio that was worth $92, $93, $9,400 yesterday is now worth uh, a little under $8,800. Uh, salt was over 4 bucks. now it's down to like around three eighty, dollars and all that stuff, so... Uh, every time I do this, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to cash it out or at least, uh, sell it and then buy it back up when it drops at 10%. I do that all the time. I say that all the time and I never fucking do it. I get cold feet and then it, it, it drops the next day. So, oh, well, I mean, so whenever it says EV, it's in electric mode, but it's completely silent. There goes the engine. It just started back up. Now it's off. So, uh, I don't know, guys. I, I, yeah. I wish I didn't get like the cold feet stuff on over this, I suppose. But um, it is what it is, and it. Uh, one of these days, I'm gonna have enough 
or all my bills paid off where I can actually fucking play with this money instead of gambling it. Um, you know, I kind of need and want that money. That's the problem. That's why I don't want to just throw it to the wind. But, uh, I don't know. I just need to maybe write down my game plan and then I can see it in writing and then just check it out every day and just refer to it and stick to it good or bad or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking potentially this weekend going to the range at some point and doing some uh, drills and stuff like that and filming them. Uh, as long as the weather's okay and all that type of stuff. Now, um, if I can f uh, record them, I keep saying film, but if I can record the, these drills, I can kind of start building up like an archive that I can use for my YouTube channel. And that's kind of what my, my thoughts were for that one focal focus for the YouTube channel. So I mentioned I wanted to have a bunch of different branches or a bunch of different, um, I guess, hobbies or, or passions or whatever explored on that YouTube channel. Uh, one of them is, is guns. And I wanted to kind of make some easy, simple content, but also make some stuff that would be um, good, I guess you could say, for um, getting views and hits and all that type of stuff, because that's the channel that is not eligible for monetization. So if I could kind of come up with like my own little series, like, oh, hey guys, here's some range drills that you guys can do, and just some simple stuff, but film it, and then say, you know, next time you guys are at the, the range, check it out. Go to our website, download the uh, free template, or free target, I should say. And then you guys can go on there and uh, go go to the range and, and shoot yourself and, and get more proficient. So that's uh, one of my thoughts, and then just have it as a, an ongoing series. So there's dozens and dozens and dozens of drills. I could probably film or record, um, I don't know, three to ten uh, each time I go to the range if I go by myself and then I can uh, edit them at my leisure as well as uh, post them you know as a, in a delayed fashion or whatever so they wouldn't all get posted all at once you know I might just do one a week or something like that and then I'll keep people coming back and uh, get some feedback and all that type of stuff so uh, if that's going to happen, it would probably have to be Sunday, I'm guessing, that I would hit the range. And if that is, uh, does happen, then I need to print out my own targets or get them ready and kind of work on my game plan ahead of time. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll kind of see how that goes. So, Saturday is a wedding. We're shooting a wedding. And we just have like a partial handwritten timeline. We have really nothing to go off of. Usually by now we have fucking everything set. Um, we don't even have addresses where we're meeting people, none of that stuff. So we got to sort all that out this week. Uh, I'm getting tired of talking, so stay tuned for more, guys. All right, all right, what is happening? Just getting out of work for the day, and it is beautiful out. It says it's 86 degrees, sunny. Well, actually, it's pretty overcast now that I look at it. Uh, so I got the prom pictures done that I shot on Saturday. I'm pretty fried. It was quite a bit of work. Um, oh, and I also set up print packages on my proofing website. So it's something that I've always wanted to do. And I don't know if it's a newer feature on my proofing site or what. But I saw another photographer had something like that set up on theirs. And I was like, well, let me try it. So I looked into it, figured out how to do it, and kind of set it up. So for literally over five years now, so I have the same price list since 2013. But my gift price, or my gift print prices are $10 a piece. So any small prints up to 8x10 are 10 bucks. So if you want one 8x10, it's 10 bucks. If you want a 4x6, it's 10 bucks. Wallets, 10 bucks, etc. So that's kind of been my, my pricing. Um, typically, I try to sell or push the digitals versus selling uh, prints and all that type of stuff. 
and uh, so what I did was um, I enabled like these packages and stuff so like you can get uh, I think it was wallets and an 8x10 for like 17 bucks so instead of $20 for those two items you it's it's 17 and then I set up uh, there's there's like uh, what is it five different packages I think it's like 17 24 uh, 32 43 and 55 or something like that so and some of the packages include keychains and all that type of bullshit and yeah it should be pretty nice so I don't know we'll see I also saw that the other photographer had a pre-order option set up on his proofing website and like I said it's the same proofing website that I have and use so I was like well let me look into that but it looks like you can only do these pre-orders if you have like the premium proofing website account. So it's 30 bucks a month, so that's uh, $360 a year. And right now I'm paying $165 a year for just a premium account. Or a pro account, or I don't know what the fuck. So my account doesn't have that feature enabled. Uh, that's good, I guess, for sports and stuff like that. People can go on to the website. Uh, fill in the info and then basically prepay for prints or whatever so they can pick a package say I want that they submit like team name coach name player name position all that type of shit and then you um, and then they I guess you finish or finalize the order manually later or something like that so yeah oh my eye is twitching so that either means I'm tired or I'm stressed out, or both. Not quite sure yet which it is. Um, so I'm racing to go get Grant. I had a meeting that ran a little bit later than I wanted to get out. But I left around 4.15. Gonna go pick him up, pick up some McDonald's on the way home. Stop home to let the doggy soak, the baby soaks out. And then uh, off to practice. So he's gonna put on his cup. And maybe some pants or something like that, and then we gotta get to practice lickety split so quick. Uh, later tonight, <sighs> bath night, long overdue bath night, and then uh, I don't know what else we got going on. So I hope Grant did good today. Today was his army, uh, he wore his army hat or helmet or whatever. Um, I was looking into a couple different like camera options and stuff. I don't know why. I just every once in a while I get the bug and you know I always look into like all right, well is there something that I can use to replace this vlog camera or add to the vlog? Uh, maybe get another camera so I can add multiple angles or something or whatnot. Polaroid makes this like magnetic cube camera. It's really tiny. It's HD and it's like a hundred bucks, but you can. Um, you can uh, it's it's like a magnetic mount type of thing so I was thinking like oh that'd be cool to bring to like Grant's games and it runs for like 90 minutes it records for like 90 minutes put it maybe behind home plate and then have it like record the games and the hits and stuff like that uh, I thought that'd be cool but um, yeah I don't really have the cash right now to buy that shit and then today I came across I was looking into kind of like what kind of cameras do the airsoft players use? So there's like a ton of YouTube channels with uh, uh, airsoft sniper guys, and they basically have these like airsoft sniper rifles. They have cameras all over their fucking shit. So they have like a camera above their scope, and then they have like a camera on the front of the barrel facing back, so like you can see them. And uh, sometimes they have other cameras too, but. Um, so I was like, oh, well, what kind of cameras do they have? You know, if I do end up using or making this, um, this, this new YouTube channel, um, you know, it might be nice to have a, a camera that I can like mount to my handguns or something like that. But uh, so I was looking into that, just different options and stuff like that. So it looks like they use like these tiny little shitty cameras, and then uh, typically they're like wide-angle cameras, but then they. Uh, mod them or put a uh, 35 millimeter lens onto the cameras so by doing that then it mimics their scopes field of view and then in post-production they put an overlay 
of like their reticles and all that so they kind of sim simulate their scope view versus actually like recording a, like a camera through their scope or whatever so kind of interesting how they do it but uh, I doubt any of those types of cameras would hold up at all on a real firearm let alone you know a paintball gun or something like that so I was just kind of messing around with all that type of stuff I still want to get to making uh, some baseball cards so I have a template that I really like it's I think it's like six bucks or twelve bucks to buy the template the Photoshop template I'm gonna get that drag and drop some of uh, the images that I shot from the last uh, from well from two of the baseball games into it or onto it and just kind of see how it looks or how I uh, how I like it uh, I did email a company about uh, getting some real baseball cards made it'd be somewhere around two to three hundred dollars for the whole team and if I could do that, it would be, um, you know, it would be kind of like a trial run type of thing or something like that. So I just wanted to try that, see what uh, what it looks like, quality, all that type of stuff. And then, you know, I just want some cards for Grant. The thing is that I'm not sure about is, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, somebody's like blowing up my fucking Instagram. So I, I don't I don't know. I, I emailed in this company and you know I submitted to get some fucking samples sent to me, but the I don't know if they sent them or what. It's been it's been probably a week, so I should have received something by now. So uh, maybe if I didn't get it today, I'll email the guy again tomorrow that I was talking to and just say like, hey, you know, did you guys dispatch those samples or what? Cause like I'm not just gonna have to spend two three hundred dollars without knowing what the fuck I'm getting and uh, doing all that work. So. That's it. I need to kind of uh, cut this video short and get to my buddy's school quickly here. So, yeah, stay tuned for more. All right, right to JT. Run, Jackson. Come here, bud. Touch third base. All right, stay in third. Stay in third. Good job. Over here, bud. A little bit closer to third. Right over here. Right over here. Right there. That's good. That's good. Right there. All right. Baseball ready. Alright guys, pay attention. Baseball ready. Baseball ready. Here it comes. Woo. Grant. Good job, bud. Ready guys, gloves up. Alright guys, so um, we're gonna finish up the night here. Grant's already in bed and I have I'm gonna be doing step two of this project here. So I got some Modge Podge. 
uh, our little decal was applied with uh, a glue gun, hot glue gun. So the next step is to coat the entire front of the book with glue or Mod Podge. We'll see if I can do this fast enough. And then you put down a layer of um, tissue paper into the glue. So I'm going to have to use two hands to get this going here, but uh, I'll show you what it looks like once I get this step done. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the uh, next step done. You can see I just put down some glue and then you kind of barely make out my name there, but it's going to be like embossed. It's going to stick out. So that's it. Let it dry. And then once it's dry, then we can actually paint it and it'll look kind of cooler, but it doesn't look like much yet until it's painted. So that's all the tissue paper and glue. That's it. So that's it for tonight. Um, that's all I got for the day. So it's about 9.30. I'm going to call it a night. So see you tomorrow.